Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Hot Awful Boyfriend. When we left off last time, we romanced Sakuya. And he is kind of a jerk, but there was some, you know, there was quite a bit of humor throughout, I think. Mostly at, kind of at his expense, which is sort of bad since he's the person we're romancing. Like, I love when, <laughs> when Oko-san crashed his Christmas party in search of pudding. It's kind of wonderful. Um, this time we're going for a zombie. Now, I don't know if it's going to make any kind of difference what I join here. I think the key thing is just going to be getting meeting a zombie and then getting to the summer job, right? Um, but we'll go for it regardless. And we'll get some charisma. I don't know if that's really going to matter either for a zombie, but who knows. Let's click crook this go around because we went before. He's probably just gonna yell at me again. Yep, exactly the same things he said when I wanted to be treasurer. Relaxing at home, lunch tomorrow. We've had lunch with everybody. Uh, let's have lunch with Ryuta because he's a nice guy. Plus, he feeds us. Charisma can't hurt. Sports festival coming up. Uh, let's go in the marathon. Why not? Midterm exam. I did poorly. I caught a disappointing Mr. Nanaki, so... Alright. Brian Pigeon and his Pulitzer. I'm gonna go to the store. We've not been there in a little bit. It's just gonna be Yuya, but, you know. being rude. That's what he wants me to say, but he is being rude. Oh, we'll do a little more music. I have to sing solos. And it turns out Sans really good at that. Tell about a... Rita likes us. As well as Yuya. <laughs> and that was that. What shall I wish for? Mm hmm. Conquer the world by force. No thanks. Let's get a little bit of wisdom because we're really, really low on that right now. I feel bad having only one. Is the summer break yet? Finals back. I did badly again. Alright. It's summer. Alright, we will you we'll try not standing up to Sakuya just to see what happens. Alright, you can sit there and tell me what to do. Excellent! Yeah, that's exactly what he wants. And so the council room was polished until it shone with the light of a thousand suns. Just as planned. Ugh, I went along with him. Yeah, shut enough. Oh well, I wanted to see what happens. Now then. We know what she says, so we can skip all of that. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's get a job. Get a job. It sounds great. He hires me on the spot. Time to go work. Ryuta, you don't get to take the job from me. Sorry. I should do the job I was hired for. He's cool with it because he's a nice guy. Alright, and then there's this fella. So we've seen this before. Okay, I don't think 
The zombie's gonna show up here, right? So he's just telling me that he's a regular, he comes here all the time. That's nice. I mean, it is nice. I waitressed for a while, and it is nice to see some of your regular customers, as long as they're good customers. Like, some people are jerks and they're regulars, like, oh, I could do without them. But there are some people who are really pleasant that like to hang around and chit-chat, and makes the day a little more pleasant. All right, we're going to get attacked by punk pigeons. <laughs> I love his tough guy glasses and his mohawk leather jacket. All right, but a zombie comes to the rescue. Here she comes. Thanks, a zombie. Alright, we did this before. Summer Festival. Can I go with a zombie? Because that would be awesome. Oh, she's not an option. Well, I don't really care about anybody else. Uh, Shoo, you want to go to the festival? <laughs> what do you want? What? It's the doctor! Is that all? I'm going home. Okay, so this is what he says when we were successfully romancing him. We invited him. What do you want? To go to the festival. Okay, and he's still gonna go. Okay, same as before. So we can skip that. Oh, I was hoping a zombie would make an appearance. Oh well. Okay, so here we go. And then she's going to show up. And I need to not help them get back together. Tanjiro. Here we go. Okay, oh that's right, we're asking him about Rabu. He's a chauffeur. He's a very careful driver. Yep, and haven't I met another of those? Indeed. Okay, so I think this is where it's gonna be. Thank you for everything. We'll zip ahead to when we've got something we can say in here. Because so far this is the same as we've seen before. Alright. So now, rather than trying to help them make amends, we have to sabotage them. I should bring up Azami's martial arts. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fairbabini. What's all this, Lavinia? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? You practice your elegant kicking technique every day, right? You've been preparing a special move for your reunion with him, right? I'm encouraging her <laughs> to kick his butt. Kicks? You're right, I have. Grit your teeth, Mr. Faberdeen. You'll regret dumping me until the day you die. <laughs> Womp fun. And so the oasis of soothing parakeetitude was transformed into a scene of avian fury, the wrath of God falling to earth in the guise of a sparrow's legs. <laughs> I'll decimate my summer homework with the force of a raging bull. Next up is the individual research project. I want to research something that will only take one day. I don't really have any ideas. Something to do with a zombie. Anyway, I I'll take a stroll around town and see if I can't find an interesting topic. Huh? Standing in front of a used bike shop is... a zombie? What's up, a zombie? Oh, it's you. Kids like you should head home and get some sleep already. Well, I would, but I got, I got homework to do. A zombie? Were you crying? Oh. What are you talking about? Don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun, I'm trying to be a good friend. Sorry, but as your protege, I really am worried about you. 
making my half-grown protege worry. I must be losing my edge. When I look around, her trademark pink scooter is nowhere to be seen. And she came out of the used bike shop, which means she sold it. What happened? No way. Did you sell your bike? If you're having second thoughts, I'll go take it back for you. Nah, it's fine. This is my way of ending things. Oh, she's, she's over Blaster entirely. And now that it's over, I'll look to the future. That is the way of the Sparrow. Alright, well, what will you do now instead? I, mean, I guess I understand that she wants to get over him, get past him, but it's kind of a shame that she has to give up something that she loves to be able to do that. I mean, couldn't you continue to ride your bike despite how things went with him? But I can see if, it, if there's a lot of bad memories associated with it, where maybe she'd rather just do something else, but... The way of the Sparrow. That sounds pretty cool. Goodbye, Mr. Fabelby. It's time for me to move on. Hey, you there. Hold on a sec. Hmm? You were the guys who picked a fight with my cute followers, huh? That's right, Punkjin. We're not afraid of you. Get them, bro. Get them. It's the gang of bad birdies from before. So you brought your friends. Chicks like you should be at home washing their beaks and getting ready for bed. Don't look down on us. We brought our best fighters to pay you back. That makes me look down on you more, actually. Because that means you're not tough enough to handle it yourself, so you had to go get your friends to do it for you. What does that prove? Just that you have strong friends. It doesn't prove anything about you yourself. Now, arguably, we didn't fight our own fight here either. A zombie came in and saved us. But they started the whole thing by just picking on an innocent young lady walking home. So, better be ready. These doves are strong. No, way of the sparrow one. You can do it, Azami. Ganging up on her isn't fair, you punkjins. We'll help her out. Azami, I'll help too. Yeah, I'm a hunter-gatherer. I'm tough. The punkjins came at us one after another. In just an instant, the nighttime city transforms into a violent battlefield. Azami lays the smack down with her magnificent sparrow kick. And I pulverize everything with my fists of fury. Because I'm a hunter-gatherer. I can do this. I threw Okusan out of... Uh, Sakuya's party, so the punctions watch out. We're at a huge disadvantage, but Izami and I pull through and live to see the dawn. Where are all the police birds in town? <laughs> I always thought you were something special. You've gotten pretty strong. No, I still have a long ways to go. No, you're already a true sparrow. Thanks, Izami. I'm a sparrow? What do you mean, Izami? I'm 100% human. No, it's about who you are inside. It's it's a state of mind. You know, nobody's born a sparrow. Except for sparrows. You overcome obstacles and suffer hardships, but still always move forward. That's what makes somebody a sparrow. Your kindness, your strength, your way of life, everything about you screams sparrow. From this day forth, hold your head high and call yourself a sparrow. Azami. I am a Sparrow, Sparrow Lavinia Waitley, and no punction is a match for me. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. I can trust you. If we're together, there's nothing we can't do. I'll be counting on you, kid. Yeah. Azami and I formed a new all-girl delinquent gang. Well, why do we have to be delinquents? We were we were fighting for the forces of good. We were taking out the, the punctions. Only our souls run wild. Our wild birds embodied that noble spirit as we drove through the night, never once breaking any traffic laws. <laughs> what did we drive on? Our scooter's gone. And so we became legends of the midnight roads. <laughs> well, it worked out. I need to be a sparrow. <laughs> Alright, that was silly, but it was quite cute. Let's see if that gave us anything in the archive. To be the true Java Sparrow. Now this is the same as it was. Okay, we've got five left. And I did take a look at the achievements. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but um, so there's another ending we can get for San. 
There's also another enemy we can get for Sakuya. Let's roll a shoe. So let's... Let's try Sonic again next time, because I'm thinking what I need to get the better ending is probably just to answer the questions correctly and get him the correct Legumentine's gift. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and wind everything down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll go for Sonic again.